Dede TV KPM Always autumn in my memory butter ringing the drill tea shop crumpets handmade chocolates rich enough to choke you brought in special smooth paper from town hi everybody you guys are watching success SPM 2021 my name is Nisa K I'll be with you guys for this one hour how are you guys doing I hope you guys are doing great feeling fine healthy and fit with that being said I'd like to remind you guys to always always comply to the SOP and rules set by the government wear your face mask wherever you go and just stay at home if you don't have anything important outside maintain a physical distance of at least one meter or more wash your hands using water and soap and don't forget the sanitizer use it when needed okay so today what did i just do well i read a uh, uh, a part of a poem well this is a very interesting poem but to know more about this because we are going to learn english literature Let's take a look at our teacher's profile for today. Everybody, let's welcome Teacher Nur Hayati, Ketua Panitia Kesusasteraan Inggris from SMKL Methodist Kuala Lumpur. How are you, Teacher? Oh, I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for being with us today. And I'm so excited because I get to read a part of a poem. But yeah. to know more about that, we will talk about it later. So, Teacher, I, will, uh, I want to ask you to introduce yourself to our students at home. Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Nur Hayati Binti Abdul Aziz from SMK Laki Laki Metri Jalan Jabat Kuala Lumpur. So I'm glad to be here today, mm -hmm. especially with Nisa. Oh, okay. thank you. And the other with with our students, and um, I do hope that uh, our beloved students who are watching us right now on Didik TV mm -hmm. uh, will learn something from our today's uh, session. Yes, I believe they are as excited as I am today. So. Talking about the students that uh, we are going to have uh, here on Google Meet, we have right. four students from SMK Laki Laki Methodist Kuala Lumpur. So where are my fellow SMKL Methodist Kuala Lumpur? Hi! Everybody, hello! <laughs> Welcome to Didi TV KPM. So we are going to let them to introduce themselves. Sure. Let's uh, start with uh, Mesh Vinjit. Uh, kindly introduce yourself. Hi, my name is Mesh Vinjit Singh from MBSS KL. And my occupation is to become a doctor. Ah, he wants to become a doctor, a frontliner. Okay, so let's see with our, uh, our next friend, Isaac. What do you want to be? Kindly introduce yourself, Isaac. Hi, everyone. My Hi. name is Isaac. I'm from MBSS KL, and I would love to be a orthopedic surgeon in the future. Oh, wow. Another frontliner uh, <laughs> to be yeah. orthopedic. Oh, okay. Thank you so much, uh, Isaac. Next, we have Jumun. Can you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Jumun. I'm from MBSS KL, and one day I would like to be an English storybook writer. Ah, English storybook writer. <laughs> I'll be the first one to buy your book, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Jungmoon. Next, we have the uh, kindly you introduce yourself. Hi, everyone. I'm Chin Zhe Si from MBSSKL, and my ambition is to become a lawyer. Ah, he wants to become a lawyer. Everybody has a great and a big vision ahead. So I wish you guys all the best. But before that, Teacher Hayati, before we start any activities, our session for today, let's okay, take a look sure. at this, our best friend <laughs> yeah. for today. So for now. Kindly. Sanitize our hands first before we start any activities. This is the SOP. I think this is not the new normal. This is the normal thing yes. for us to do for nowadays. nowadays. Okay, so let me ask you, Teacher Nohayati, sure. what are we going to discuss for today's session? Okay, thank you for asking, uh, Nisa. Okay, mm -hmm. basically we will actually looking at the poem mm -hmm. okay, that we have in our subject, which is English literature. Okay. And we will focus on this particular poem. Mm -hmm. And at the end of it, we will... Um, give a suggestion on how to answer a question basically. Ah, 
I love poems and I hope our friends at home, they are all ready. I want to ask our friends on Google Meet, are you guys ready? If you guys are ready, kindly give me double thumbs up like this. Energetic, yeah. Okay, they are all ready, but we are going to take a break. I'll see you guys after this on Success SPM 2021. Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM Welcome back to Success SPM 2021. My name is Nisa K. Today we have teacher Nur Hayati and our friends from SMKL Methodist Kuala Lumpur or MBSSKL. Today the subject is English Literature and the title uh, that we are going to discuss is Half Term. So I don't want to waste any more time. Our friends at home and on Google Meet, they are all ready and energetic. Please. Stay focused and just have fun for today's lesson. Kindly proceed for our uh, first uh, topic. But before that, teacher, I yes, want to Lisa. ask our friends here, our sure. students from MBSS KL, what, uh, what are they, uh, oh, they, what do they the subject, think about right? the subject okay. or the topic? So, do we have anyone who wants to share anything that you think about the topic? Do you think this is a hard or interesting topic for you to learn? Uh, I think I'll share. Okay, man. Uh, for me, right, mm -hmm. English literature is a subject that uh, not only matures you, mm -hmm. but it also teaches you uh, a lot of values in life, but through the form of poem. Okay. So it's how you dig up the values in the poems and mm -hmm. apply it in your daily life. Because these poems are quite old. Some are dating mm -hmm. back to 17, 18 centuries. And yes. it's written at that time by one of one of the most famous uh, poets in the world and mm. they have seen life at that time and they have tried to share it in a form of a poem. So I feel the English literature right, can be fun if you start to love it, if you open your heart and start to love it. English literature is normally regarded as a very boring subject mm -hmm. to people's ears and mm. uh, I feel that they should try to open up and one day just try to find the true meaning on why they write a poem and then they'll start learning the subject. Okay, thank you, Mesh. I like it when he mentioned that it matures you in a way. Just open up your heart to think that this is not a boring uh, subject. I would like to add, uh, Nisa, mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that now she, uh, he is uh, in love with this subject because oh. at first he would like to actually drop this subject. Oh, okay, <laughs> but now we can see that he actually opened up. That's why he said that you must open up your heart to see this subject from different perspectives. So I want to ask uh, Jemun, what do you think about this subject or this topic? Uh, personally, I feel like this topic forces you to find stuff in the in the smallest of details. Mm -hmm. You really have to put some effort into looking into the deeper me meaning and find another meaning out of what the poem is trying to tell you. Mm. For example, you're not you. The meaning is usually not in face value. It's not in front of you. You really have to search through the whole text, everything from top to bottom, and find through the details what it actually means. Okay, thank you, Jumu. So we have to pay attention, attention. to the very smallest detail. Correct. Okay, Correct. so do we have another friend who wants to share more about this topic? Okay, Kali. In my opinion, I think English literature is a very unique subject that has always been an eye-opener for me because it can broaden my horizon through analyzing and interpreting a variety of reading materials, especially poems. Mm. For instance, I tend to get a new idea or point of view whenever I read a text over a few times. As a result, I am able to understand the message that was trying to be conveyed. Overall. English literature plays a crucial role in our daily lives by helping us practically and skillfully in any matter, especially problem solving. Okay, thank you, Zerji. So he thinks that English literature is unique, eye-opener, mm. and it gives him new point of view. Mm. So is it true, Teacher Hayati, that English literature is actually a boring and a hard subject to tackle. Uh, obviously, you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> obviously, you are wrong since mm -hmm. uh, this is the subject where, um, which is very close to you. Actually, mm -hmm. you are experiencing it in your daily life. Mm -hmm. Okay, the song that you listen, mm -hmm. the movies that you watch, 
So those are part of literature. Yeah. Uh, okay. So it is not a new thing uh, or um, or something new. Mm -hmm. It is in our life. Okay. Uh, so let me quote again from Mesh. Open up your heart to <laughs> see English literature from different perspectives. So. We would like to uh, start our lesson, lesson for today. So everybody, let's go. Okay, thank you, Nisa. Okay, so for today, um, obviously we will look at uh, a poem. Mm -hmm. Okay, we will look at a poem. Okay, so uh, just to let our students aware that these are the 10 poems that we have in our subject, which is mm -hmm. 10. But obviously today we just look at this one poem, which is half term. Okay. <clears throat> by by obviously the the writer is U A for enter, mm -hmm. and these are um, I would like to just introduce what are the things that we are going to look at throughout this session. Okay. Okay. The first one is Powell's background, which is um, uh, important too. Okay, to know who is the writer of the poems, and then uh, we move on to the background of the uh, of the poem. But this uh, part we just uh, have a quick look to the poem. Okay. And then uh, next is elements in the poem. And the last part, which is the, the important one that everyone is waiting for, is answering the questions. Okay? okay. And I would like to, for this part, uh, I will just um, uh, share with you uh, suggestions on how to answer or tackle mm -hmm. the question. Okay. okay. Okay, so we will start with the poet's background. Okay, so this is the one who writes that poem, the poem that Junman finds difficult to understand earlier, mm -hmm. right? Mm -mm. Okay, so this is a friend, uh, the person who responsible for that. So uh, he, her name is U.A. Fenter. So she was born in, on 22nd July, 1929 and passed away at the age of 79 on 28th April, 2009. And she is actually was one of the Britain's most talented poems. Oh. So meaning that um, it gives us the idea that uh, the poem must be something great too. Mm -hmm. to, to analyze or to study. And then he went to a boarding school. And the last one, uh, uh, one more info that I found significant, that she took a diploma in school counseling. So meaning that she has that particular background. Mm -hmm. OK, so now, this is the part um, where I find important Okay, in, in this subject. Mm -hmm. OK, background of the poem, a quick revision. But this time, we will just go through it quickly. Um, <clears throat> it is very, but before that, it is very important for you to to understand the poem better. Mm -hmm. If it is not, you can't actually answer the questions later because mm -hmm. this is about analyzing the text. It is about how you personally understand the text. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then uh, this is another thing. Okay, the title of the poem is half term. Okay, and before we go through the text or in. It, it is not applicable for poetry. Mm -hmm. It is also applicable for the other genres, for drama, for, yes. for uh, short stories. Yes. Every time that we would like to analyze, to mm -hmm. study the text, we have to understand what does the mm -hmm. title mean. Mm -hmm. Because it gives us the first introduction of what will happen next. Mm -hmm. Okay, So that's the significance of, of understanding the title. Mm -hmm. Okay, So here, as the title is half term, and the meaning of title term, and the meaning of half term based on um, Long Meng Dictionary is a short holiday from school in the middle of a term. Mm -hmm. So I would like to know, um, uh, Nisa, what, what is your actually uh, idea whenever that we talk about half term, when it, whenever that we talk about holidays or vacation? What ah, comes into your mind? When it comes to holiday or just some free times, I will think about spending it you know where I, it will make me very happy. Correct. Maybe correct. something that I love, like picnic or just have time for obviously, myself. Obviously, obviously, yes. meaning mm -hmm. that that's the only time that we are away from our routine. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now let's move on to the poem itself, which mm -hmm. is um, it is called a long poem, which yes. is it's written in nine stanzas. Oh. Okay. The the, the next three <laughs> stanzas will be in the next slide, but for now we just go through the the six first stanza mm -hmm. here, as as uh, Nisa recited the poem earlier, which is yes. autumn. I always autumn in my memory. Buttering in the drill tea shop crumpets, handmade chocolates rich enough to chalk you, brought in special smooth paper from town. So obviously, always autumn. So meaning that um, the persona tells us that that's the, 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 the thing that always in her mind, mm -hmm. in her memory. Okay? And then what, in his, uh, what she has about the memory? 
she has the the image of the food which is buttering in the dual tea shop crumpets, handmade chocolates, rich enough to chock you, brought in special smooth. As I noticed the way uh, Nisa recited this part, which is special smooth. You you have that kind of yeah. I emphasize on uh, yes, the special correct, smooth. Correct. Yes, how so to show how special that that um paper is okay mm -hmm. and from town some more okay from town some more so basically this particular stanza mm -hmm. tells us about food obviously right yes. and then what kind of food junman based on this uh, particular stanza what kind of food that the persona describes here mm. anyone wants uh, to share sweet food for example chocolate mm -hmm. uh, sweet food crumpets and uh, basically those two and tea, which you basically have during tea time. Yeah, and at the tea shop, relax. obviously. Mm -hmm. Correct, Juman? Okay, yeah. so when we look at the way the poet describes about the food here, it is something special, tasty, obviously. Mm -hmm. Okay, but then if you look at the next uh, stanza, which is uh, in brackets, okay, back at school, the square tall piles of bread, featureless red jam in basins, grace of shuffle, uh, grace. A shuffle of chairs, the separate table for the visiting lacrosse team. Mm -hmm. So it means here, this is the additional idea. Oh, I can't touch mm -hmm. the screen, obviously. <laughs> okay, uh, sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay, so obviously, um, this is the additional info about what has written earlier. Mm -hmm. Meaning every time that the persona uh, describe about the food, this is comes after that, the okay. afterthought. The mm -hmm. afterthought. But but then. This is back at school. Just now that she has during the holidays, which yes. is the, the test food, tasty food. Mm -hmm. But here, uh, the way um, the poet describes the food is different from what she has during the, the holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, which is the the featureless red jam, and then the setting is still the same, which is at the obviously where we usually um, actually have our food at school. Yes, mm -hmm. where we usually have our food at school, Nizar. In the canteen? At the canteen, obviously. Yeah. Right? So this is the setting at the canteen, but mm -hmm. here is the setting at the tea shop during, yes. during the holidays. Mm -hmm. So it means that every time that the, the, the persona uh, reminds about, the, uh, about what happened during the holidays, it reminds the persona about the school. Mm -hmm. Okay, It compares with what she has at school. And then the next stanza, long awkward afternoons in hotel lounges, I landed in swollen armchairs eyeing aristocratic horses in irrelevant magazines. Should I be talking to them? So, um, I would like to ask one of our students here, Isaac. Isaac, based on the word awkward, I landed, and the question, okay, mm -hmm. what do you think the persona feels at this particular moment? What kind of feeling that personally, she has? Personally, I feel that um, she is very, um, I'll say lonely. Okay. I uh, say so you feel isolated. Lonely? With the type of mm, and mm. isolated. And okay. isolated? Yeah. Why? Because of the I word, right? That, because because yeah. um where, okay. She's feeling a bit distant away from other people. Correct. Mm. Like example like when he's in his childhood time, you feel very um lonely. Separated from other uh, community. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good, Isaac. Thank you. So meaning that during mm. the holiday, okay? During the holiday at the hotel lounge some more, mm -hmm. that is what the persona feels. Mm -hmm. That is how the persona feels. Even though, even though we notice the, uh, the persona is actually comfortable in terms of the physical one, okay. which is swollen armchairs, mm -hmm. which is um, hotel lounges. So meaning mm -hmm. that that uh, give us the idea what kind of vacation that she has, which is the mm -hmm. the luxury one. Mm -mm. Am I right? Maybe okay, she went to a very big and grand Correct. hotel and Correct. then she feels like this is so not the usual setting she's good. usually in very good thank you mm -hmm. so that is what she has during the holidays mm -hmm. okay the setting but then but then in terms of the feeling of the persona okay as uh, the poet uses the word awkward so she finds that even though it is hotel lounges which mm -hmm. is supposedly be something everyone is excited about yes. but here it's awkward she finds mm -hmm. that, that that is a awkward uh, situation and then I landed in a swollen armchair, even though the armchair is a very comfortable one. Mm -hmm. But I landed, meaning that away from the other, the ah, other things. Separated. Separated, being mm -hmm. separated, being isolated from the other things around mm -hmm. her. And then, um, and, and the persona also finds the, the magazine as irrelevant, something that 
she don't even uh, familiar about. Yes. And yes. the last one, the question actually adds to that particular feeling, which is the persona feels uncomfortable with that mm -hmm. until she has that particular uh, question okay. to herself. Okay. From my point of view, the the phrase should I be talking to them? Maybe she thinks that. How do I fit in with this kind of people Correct. that she's not usually see or meet in her daily life? Okay, so we are going to discuss more about this poem after this. Let's take a break. I'll see you guys after this on Success SPM 2021. Dede TV KPM. TV KPM. Thank you for those who are still watching us on Success SPM 2021. The subject is English literature, and we are discussing the poem Half Term by U A Fanthorpe. So I don't want to waste any more time. Let's just proceed with Teacher Hayati. Okay, thank you, Nisa. Okay, so we'll straight away, mm -hmm. uh, go to the next uh, stanza. But this time, I will just go quickly as the focus uh, is the next slide. Okay. okay. But here, uh, we can actually notice uh, the, the structure of the poem, how the poet uh, tells us about what happened during the half term, which is the holidays, and then how does it remind the, the persona about, about back at school? Okay. Meaning that the, the comparison between what she has or what she experienced during holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that is how it goes. Okay. And. We will go and uh, deeper after this, okay? But for now, obviously, based on the poem, okay, this is what we can obviously, which is holiday mm -hmm. versus school. That is how the person, what, how the persona finds the holidays and how the persona finds school. Okay, the next uh, part, which is the uh, uh, literary elements, okay? So, uh, for it is very crucial for the students to to know on how to analyze the poem mm -hmm. or text because if it is not, um, it, it will be useless. It will okay. be useless. So uh, these are some of the suggestions or, or guides that you can follow okay, mm -hmm. to uh, analyze the text. Okay. First, let's look at the setting. We should know what, where the, what is the setting of the poem. There are two types of setting, which is type, uh, setting of time and setting of place. Okay, and half term meaning that uh, it shows us the, it happens during holidays, which mm -hmm. is setting of time. And then back at school, we, uh, it covers both, which is time and also place. Okay. And then hotel lounges, obviously a place. So mm -hmm. setting of place, we know where where does the the holiday takes place. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next is point of view. Point of view means who is actually tell us the the story. So here, obviously. It is, it is from the first person point of view because we notice the word, the, the poet uses the word I, I, mm -hmm. I. So we know that the one who tells us the story, the one who experienced yes. the things happen mm -hmm. in, the, in the poem. Okay, this is another uh, important thing, which is themes, okay? Um, you should know whenever that, okay, I'm sure that your teachers always tell us, oh, okay, what is the theme? What is the theme of this text? What is the theme of the other text? And so on. But what is the theme, actually? What is mm -hmm. the theme? So, um, in other words, we may say that theme means the main idea or underlying meaning. Meaning that what is, what is the purpose of the writers writing this particular text? Mm -hmm. Okay, what is the idea? What the overall things can be related to? So, that's what we call as a theme. Okay, how do you identify the theme of a poem? So usually the speaker is saying what he or she thinks and feels about it. So we know when we analyze it, what the persona feels, mm -hmm. what the persona, um, what else, thinks. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it gives us the clue that, okay, this is the, the main idea that the poet would like to convey here. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, and another tip to, on how to look at the theme is by looking at the final stanza. Okay. Okay, by looking at the final stanza. So usually, um, the way the poet ends the, the poem will tell you what she would like to the readers to understand about. Okay. okay. Uh, because it is, uh, as I said, it's, it emphasizes the poet's attitude and, and a shortcut to know the theme or value. But obviously, like, you can't do this shortcut as you have to go through the text, right? But, yes. but whenever that you would like to re-look to the, do the poem, you can straight away uh, look at the final one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so based on what I have explained, okay, uh, Zuchi, 
what do you think uh, the theme of this poem? What is the main idea that the poet would like to deliver? Would like the readers to understand or to learn? I about? think the theme is about how a person discover their self through challenges and experience in life when the persona is ex experience isolation during her holiday at home with nobody to accompany her. Mm -hmm. This is shown when the poem mentioned islander in swollen armchair, mm -hmm. eyeing aristocratic horses in irrelevant magazines. This line sh clearly shows that she feels boring and has nothing to do leaving her with no choice to sit on the armchair reading magazines and looking at aristocratic horses and magazines that she never read before to spend her leisure time at home. Okay, good, Zechi. Okay. okay, obviously, uh, that is how Zechi find the, the idea of the poem. And I would like to remind the other students out there, mm -hmm. if you find that your team is different from your friend's team, mm -hmm. you don't have to worry. Okay, because the one who analyzes it, the one who understands the words written, the one who understands the, the phrases written, is you. Yes. Okay, that is how you personally find it. But if, of course, whenever that you would like to share something, you have to justify like what uh, Zechi did just now. Mm -hmm. Justification is important yes. in it, literature. Of course, Zechi got the idea, uh, meaning that uh, she, uh, he finds uh, Zechi finds that the persona learns something throughout the obviously the holidays, mm -hmm. where she uh, finally realizes that she know herself well yes. after that, at the end of, of the poem, it tells us that way. Mm -hmm. Okay? Okay, this is how the chiefs find the theme, but this is how I personally find the themes. Okay. okay you, you may agree and you may not, you may agree or you may also disagree with mm -hmm. this, as this is mine. And of course, if you are agree, you can, uh, you can um, use it and of course, uh, make it as yours. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So first is emotional, uh, emotional versus physical comfort. Mm -hmm. Throughout the poem, we notice that um, it is about how the persona. Okay, before that, uh, for those who are watching us at home, you may refer to your textbook on page sixty-one. Okay. Okay, since we can't go back, uh, okay, it's difficult to go back to the, but you can uh, refer to page sixty-one in your textbook. Emotional phys uh, versus physical comfort. So we notice that how. Um, Obviously, during the holidays, we can actually uh, notice how tasty the food is, right? Yes. The way the way the person describes about the crumpets, mm -hmm. the way the person describes about the chocolate, compared to the the food at school. Yes, teacher. Okay? Uh, yes. Don't we agree that all foods during the holiday that we had is actually tastes good, tastes good. <laughs> than what we usually have? Okay, <laughs> good, good. You know why? Because. Mm -hmm. Because during the holidays, mm -hmm. we are away from our routine. Yes, we are away of our routine. So meaning that our mind is 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 free from from the other um, things that that, mm -hmm. that bothered us be, before. So when whenever it is half term, which is the, the vacation itself, so we find everything is beautiful. Yes, but 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 not not this particular person. Now, as mm -hmm. she finds that she has the comfort. The physical comfort, mm -hmm. the the hotel, living up, staying in the hotel, yes. and and have that good that good uh, food, mm -hmm. but then in terms of emotional, she doesn't feel it. Mm. She doesn't feel it. Okay, so that is why she compares these two things, which is the the, the life during the holidays mm -hmm. and the life at the school the school, uh, mm -hmm. school days. Um, that is emotional and versus physical comfort. So we find that even though we are able to have the physical comfort, yes. but without the emotional one, it will be useless. It will be Pointless. something missing. Yes. yes. Okay. So the next uh, theme that I find related to the poem is self-realization. Mm -hmm. Obviously, the, the title is half term. Mm -hmm. So meaning that the half term or the breaks or the vacation may help us to know our true self. Yes. To realize something. Oh, okay. Now I uh, after after the person um, uh, shared with us what happened in the previous stanza. Mm -hmm. So we know at the end she finds her true self by saying that she now is ready to to face the the the, the schoolmates at school. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, you know your text, right? So at the end of it, so we know that she finally knows herself well. She's mm -hmm. ready. Yes. Okay, because of the experience that she has during the holidays. Yes. So meaning and that I agree with the emotional part, Teacher Hayati, because mm. I can see that 
throughout the poem, even though you are in a crowd, you can actually feel lonely. Correct. Mm -hmm. Correct, obviously. Even though you are actually, uh, there are a lot of luxury things around yes. you. Yes. Okay, but you can still feel lonely. Mm -hmm. So that is what happened to the persona. Okay, next. Uh, this is the poetic devices. Okay, um, there are four things that I, I highlight here. Mm -hmm. So we can just go through it. Alliteration. Uh, the poem uses alliteration to highlight some of the words, which is uh, like the first stanza tells us in my memory. So mm -hmm. to highlight that this is the person's memory, not mm -hmm. other people's memory. Yes. Okay. And then handmade chocolate rich enough to chalk you. Chocolate. Okay. This is the, the, the repetition of the mm -hmm. consonant. Chocolate, chalk you. So to, to, uh, to enhance the, the sense of um, it tastes how good, good. Yeah, yeah, it tastes good. Okay, chocolate, chalk you. And then another thing, it is special, the repetition of special smooth paper from town. So special mm -hmm. smooth, the way you pronounce it, it also represents how good the, 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 the paper is. Yes. Okay, and then uh, the other device that the poet used um, is contrast. Uh, we can see that the one written in the parenthesis is back at school. Mm -hmm. The one uh, without it, without the bracket, is, is what happened during the holidays. So we can see how uh, school days and holidays are contrast in mm -hmm. terms of food, in terms of physical uh, facilities and yeah. so on. And then um, busy days in school versus inactivity in the hotel lounges. Obviously, inactivity, she has, he, uh, the person has nothing to do, just sit uh, on the swollen armchairs and eyeing people around her. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then food, the contrast between the food during the holidays, which is the comforts versus the featureless red jam. So the persona, uh, no, not the persona, okay. The poet, okay, uses the contrast to actually highlight the idea about how to appreciate the things. Mm -hmm. Okay, how to appreciate the thing, okay. And obviously, holiday makes you appreciate what you have around you. Yes. Basically, okay. Images, we can notice that... Um, the poet uses autumn, food, mm -hmm. school, hotel, and, and the descriptions about these things um, is part of the images. Okay, mm -hmm. and then the last device is parenthesis. Okay, uh, what is the function of parenthesis? Okay, to add details, to present secondary info to the main point. Okay, so uh, it's, as we notice, uh, the parenthesis here is the, the back at school, meaning that every time that she, the persona talks about something during the holiday, it reminds uh, the person about what happened at school. Mm -hmm. Okay, and that um, parenthesis means to add, to give us a clearer idea, or to add, to make us understand more about what the poet would like to convey. Okay. Oh, okay. Ah. So we we comes to the the what we call it, the most um, interesting part. Yes. Okay. Where Especially I, I for find our that SPM candidates. 2021. Correct. <laughs> Correct. Okay, but I'm sure that your teachers uh, taught you well before, so we can just straight away go to the answering questions mm -hmm. here. This is just a suggestion. You can, you can follow, and you you may have your own way in answering the questions. But this yes. is just to guide and help you. Mm -hmm. Okay. So basically, basically this is the format of the our paper, which is we have three sections. Mm -hmm. Section one. Uh, sorry. Section A, section A, Section B, and Section C. And of course, today we are focusing on the Section C, which is poetry. Mm -hmm. So the other sections carry 35, 35 marks, equal to 70. So the, the remainder, which is the 30 marks, it belongs to the poetry. So in poetry, the 30 marks, you have to answer one out of two questions. Oh. Okay, one of the two questions. But, but it doesn't mean that you have to only one, uh, write one essay. Okay. So that one question is a package. It consists of two questions, A and B. Okay. Okay, A and B. So both questions um, carry 15 marks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so 15 times 2, 30 marks. So that's about the format. So now let's move on to the next one. So this is the thing that I find every candidate who is taking or doing EL should know, mm -hmm. okay? Which is the AO stands for assessment objective, okay? AO, AO stands for assessment objective. So bear in mind there are four AOs that you should cover whenever that you answer questions in order for you to get good marks, okay? And, and, and not only for the sake of good marks, it is also in order for you to, to what we call it, uh, to show that you understand and can learn something from what uh, mm -hmm. the text would like to convey. Okay, the first AO um, 
is know your tax very well. So meaning that when you, how to show that you know your tax very well? You you are able to support your uh, understanding with the evidence. Mm -hmm. Okay, evidence from the tax, meaning here from the poem itself. And the next EO is EO2. Explore tax beyond surface meanings to reflect a deeper awareness of content. Meaning that after you give the evidence, you should explain what do we understand from the evidence. Mm -hmm. How does the evidence uh, affect you as a reader? Mm -hmm. Okay. And the next one is AO3 is analyze and evaluate ways in which language and literary devices are used in the text. Meaning that explain effects of language, form and structure. Okay. In other words, we may say that this is the time where you appreciate the poet's effort mm -hmm. to, to deliver the message. Okay. And the last one is the, the best part, which is this is the time you convey or you share how you personally find it, your opinions about it. And of mm. course, whenever that you share your opinions, you have to always relate to the question back. Mm. You have okay, to justify to sure, the answer. Yes, to justify the answer. Okay, mm -hmm. to make sure that you are answering the question, not not short sendiri. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so you, to make sure that you are answering the question. Mm -hmm. um, so um, Isaac, which which AO that you find difficult for you to fulfill or to to tackle? Mm -hmm. To tackle? Yes. Mm, I would say the AO three. AO three. Okay. Why Isaac? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm, I just, I really can't actually. Okay, perhaps you know why um, Anissa, perhaps they, 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 find, they are actually confused about how to differentiate between AOT or AO1, mm -hmm. but, but sometimes they feel that they, they have difficulty to, uh, to write it. Yes. But when we um, mark it, they already have it. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's very subjective actually, yes. right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So they next. may know about it, but, but they might not realize yes, that they correct. actually know about, about the, the poem or, or whatever the, yes. the, the paragraph Obviously, is all about. Because it is interrelated. Mm -hmm. interrelated okay? So now, okay, this is the, the sample question, which is how does Fanta present the ideas of holiday and school life in the poem? So I have highlighted several words here, okay. which is how Fanta present holiday mm -hmm. and school life. Okay? Um, uh, okay, uh, before we look at this one, okay. uh, I would like to ask Nisa, mm. okay, based on the, the, the few stanzas just now, right, about okay. school life, okay, what, what do you think uh, the personas, um, how, how the persona actually finds school life? Okay. Do you think that the persona likes school life or how so far? From my personal yes. point of view, after I go through the half term poem, I think the persona somehow used to think that oh, my school life is very boring but how can I be in a situation where I am in a better place than home which is the, the grand and big hotel Correct. but I still feel lonely and isolated and I cannot fit in with the people around me. Correct. That's the feelings Correct. that, that I actually Good. think. Good. <laughs> because that is how we or students usually mm -hmm. think also. Okay? We find that oh, because that is our routine. Yes. That is our routine. We find that oh, it's a very boring one. It's, we are bored with, with those routines. But mm -hmm. then once you are away from that particular routine mm -hmm. uh, or things, then only you realize that, oh, uh, okay. I miss school. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Suddenly okay. I miss schools and everything. Good. <laughs> Thank you. And then, so now, okay, mm -hmm. so uh, you should know how the uh, how do you find holiday being presented uh, in the poem, mm -hmm. which is uh, holiday and school. We divide it into holiday and school. Holiday. How does the speaker find life during holidays? Mm -hmm. uh, Meshwit, how the speaker find life during holidays, based on the poem? Uh, based on the poem, the speaker finds life in the holidays quite lonely. Mm -hmm. Although it might give her certain comfort that she doesn't Correct. get in school. But it still gives that effect of loneliness because she knows she's not surrounded by her friends mm -hmm. or she doesn't have that vibe that you see that you have in school with your friends while learning. So Good. She feels quite lonely. Yes. Thank Correct. you so Mishin. much. Thank you so much. Okay. So that is how this is um, Meshin's opinion about mm -hmm. this. Okay. How does the speaker life? Uh, because uh, so Meshin finds that the this personas or the speakers find that she's quite lonely during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, even though it being comforted by the other things, but she still feel that way. And then, um, we noticed that the way Meshwin gives the response just now, it mm. already covers the some of the AOs okay. indirectly. Mm. Okay, because uh, she he has supported it with the evidence, which is the word islanded, the, mm. the word um, awkward. 
So indirectly, without without he himself um, noticing it. Yes. Okay. <laughs> but we, uh, uh, as um, uh, the teachers, know which part that you have covered. Mm -hmm. Okay. And same goes to school. Okay. How does the speaker find love at school? As um, uh, Nisa shared with us just now, which is she finds that uh, the persona finds that the school. It's quite boring because of the featureless red jam. Yes. Because of the food that she has during uh, during the school days, is mm -hmm. it's not as good as. Yes. She might as, find it bland, by the way. Correct. <laughs> correct. But obviously, mm -hmm. when when we have finished analyzing the poem, we mm -hmm. find that the the persona mm -hmm. can accept that that particular thing compared to the the mm -hmm. the physical comfort that she has during the holidays. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Well, if you are you know, during the, your holidays, you might be thinking about the things, your routine, the thing that you you found that uh, this is a boring thing to do every single day, Correct. same routine. But then when we you are outside of that routine, you are actually thinking about it. Don't Correct. you agree with me? So <laughs> before we proceed with our next discussion, we are going to take a break. I'll see you guys after this in SSPM 2021 Didik TV KPM. Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM Welcome back to Success SPM 2021. We are discussing about the assessment objectives and a little bit about the poem. What do you think about the poem? What I think about the poem. So hmm. let's proceed with our lesson. Over Thank to you, you, teacher. Thank you, Nisa. Okay. So uh, before the break just now, mm -hmm. we were actually discussing about how um, you personally find how the persona or the poet describes about the school mm -hmm. and about holidays. Okay. And whenever that you give your opinion, of course, you supported it with the evidence. Yes. So from it, the poem. Yes, from mm -hmm. the poem. So it already covers E1, E02 at mm -hmm. the same time. A1, A02 at the same time. So next, okay, after you know how the poet presents the school and holiday in this, and, and then it is time for you to, how, in what ways, mm -hmm. okay? Uh, what are the things that the poet uses to, to, to present that, that uh, the one that you understand just mm -hmm. now, okay? So how does the poet make you understand the poem better, okay? There are several things that you can look at, okay, which is, is it through the language? Okay, is it through the form, diction, mm -hmm. stanzas, poetic or devices? Okay, if you would like to, so you, you touch um, and appreciate it, meaning that you, you have to talk about how the poor word uh, uses, for example, this word instead of the other word, the awkward, the islanded, mm -hmm. to highlight that how lonely the, the, the persona, or the, not the, the persona, what am I saying? Sorry, the, the, pers the speaker, or mm -hmm. the, the, per the speaker, mm -hmm. okay? Um, Fails, okay, and then um, the diction in terms of the words, and then the stanzas. Look at how the how the poet organizes the stanzas, which is some are in brackets, mm -hmm. which is to add that um, uh, info, that additional details, mm -hmm. okay, uh, as, uh, precisely about school, and then the poetic devices as what I said earlier, which is the alliteration, the mm -hmm. what else just now. Po um, alliteration contrast mm -hmm. okay so uh, so touch about it and relate it to how you understand just now mm -hmm. so it covers your a03 oh. so meaning now you already have the a1 a02 and o3 okay okay you have your understanding you support with the with the evidence that makes you feel feel or understand that way mm -hmm. and then how the poet uses the things to make you or to 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 convey that particular points or, or idea mm -hmm. got it so far okay i do hope so Okay, so next, um, okay, as we have covered the A1 to A03, so A4 is what is your opinion or personal response to the writer's presentation of the holidays and school holiday? Mm -hmm. When we talk about a personal response, it is not, it is not something about your own experience. Okay. It is about how you personally understand based on the whole poem. The poem. Mm -hmm. Not not based on you, based mm -hmm. on the poem, but you how you personally find it, what you mm -hmm. have learned from it. So mm -hmm. it covers the A04. Okay. Okay, it covers the EO4. Oh, that's interesting that we actually didn't realize that oh, we actually covered the AO1 yes. still AO4. So, <laughs> correct. That is what practice makes perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, so every time that you do exercises, you may you may actually um, or eventually you will get it. Mm -hmm, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
uh, before we end our today's session, right, yes. I would like to just introduce to our students out there, okay, okay. that there is another type of question, which is what we call as open-ended questions. Mm -hmm. For this particular question, you will be given a statement. Okay. You will be given a statement. So same goes to the, uh, so meaning that this is the format. So meaning that you are given two, two questions, mm -hmm. one and two, and for each question, you have A and B. Mm -hmm. So the, uh, it's either A or B, will be the open-ended questions. Mm. Okay, so when you are uh, asked to answer this particular question, this kind of question, for example, the, the statement is, holidays are an opportunity to journey within. Okay. Okay, which is obviously related to the poem. Okay, so discuss the statement with clear reference to the poem. And of course, you need to understand the, the statement first, then only you can relate with the poem. Of course, you, ho you have to always relate to the text okay. in order for you to get marks. Mm -hmm. If it's not, it will be meaningless. Okay. okay, teacher, this is the time where I sadly want to inform you that I want uh, to ask you for the uh, conclusion of our okay, today's sure. lesson. Sure, I would like to share. As we have okay. reached the end of our class for today. Okay, thank you so much, Nisa. Okay, um, um, I would like to use this opportunity mm -hmm. to, uh, what we call it, introduce you with these particular tips. Okay, mm -hmm. so whenever that you would like to answer the EL questions, English literature questions, mm -hmm. These are the words or these are the tips that may help you to get on the right track. Okay. Which is try to use the word because, seen as, mm -hmm. to, uh, to show that this is the evidence to support your understanding. Mm -hmm. And then the next, how does it impact you? Mm -hmm. And then connect to the question. Oh. You must always have these three things. Then only you automatically cover the four AOs. Okay. Okay, ah. thank you so much, Teacher Nohayati. No problem. For all the tips and all the uh, information you shared with us today. I hope it will help the students out there, the students yeah, on Google so. Meet, to answer this question confidently in SPM 2021. Thank you so much. Our friends from SMKL Methodist Kuala Lumpur, our uh, doctors, orthopedic writers <laughs> and lawyers to be, I wish you all all the best. Good luck for SPM 2021. So do a lot of practice because practice makes perfect. Correct. And I'll see you guys in the next episode and keep watching Didate TV KPM. You can watch, you can re-watch this episode in Didate TV KPM's YouTube channel. My name is Nisa K. I'll see you guys later or next episode in Didate TV KPM. Bye! Dedek TV KPM